part of the fun. Welcome to our Monday night memories, but it's actually, I think we're recording this on Friday afternoon. Uh, the guy across the screen, screen for me needs no introduction, Aiden O'Connell, and of course, produced quarterback uh, six years, uh, the most blissful six years of your life, right, in, in West Lafayette, but uh, a big year, a big few days ahead of him as well. Uh, yeah, he's getting married on July 30th, but on, on Tuesday, July 19th, uh, he'll be having a hosting event with uh, his uh, teammates and friends, Brock Thompson and Payne Durham at Bruno's. Uh, have a chance to talk a little bit about uh, Purdue football, sign some, sign some uh, photos, $50 to, as a part of that as well. And we'll have some of that great Bruno's food there, but uh, that's coming to pass. That's only 11 days before the wedding. Uh, uh, which, which are you more prepared for? Um... <laughs> I, yeah, I'd probably still have to say that the Bruno signing the wedding is uh, as it gets closer, it seems more and more not real. You know, you plan so much for this one big day. It, it seems like it's it's just never going to happen. It just seems like some we're just going to plan for forever. So uh, I'm ready for the Bruno signing the wedding. You're going to have to you're going to have to check back with me. Well, and the wedding is going to happen and it's going to be fantastic. <laughs> And then three days later, you'll be at camp. But uh, JL and yourself uh, are a beautiful couple, and everybody Thank you. I know is excited about that. All right, part of this Monday Night Memories series, and obviously we, we want to hit, hit on that, but uh, give us just a little update, too, on where you are in, in, in prep for, for camp and how things have been going. I know we talked to you about four or five weeks ago at the, at the NFF event, but uh, things still going along well. And I know Brock and Payne, both coming off injuries, did not play in spring ball. I assume that they're coming along relatively well and should be ready to go hopefully for camp. Is that uh, pretty much the drill? Yeah, it's, you know, summer is always a grind. Um, you, we got here, um, like we talked about, like you said, a few weeks ago, got here back uh, late May. Um, and so we've been you know, a few days off here and there. But besides that, we've been going uh, pretty hard at it for the last uh, month and a half. So it's been great. The uh, training has been great. Um, it's it's hard work. It's, you know, a lot of hours. It's hot. Um, it's <laughs> lifting, running. Um, so it's it's what football is all about. You know, we, we are trying to win games right now. Um, and I think we've, we've had a really good summer. Guys have worked really hard. The strength st staff has done a great job of um, working this hard. And I think guys have responded, you know, always with a team this big, there's been hiccups we've had to correct. And, um, but I think our guys are coming along and we're, we're really excited for camp. We're excited to put the pads on and start playing some real football. Of course, too, the guys that will be joining you at Bruno's on Tuesday night, uh, Brock Thompson and Payne Durham guys that uh, really, uh, A, they're first class folks. We already know that, but the leaders as uh, at their own right, Boy, they came up big, and, uh, and part of the subject of tonight's uh, Monday Night Memories is, is that great win, the 48-45 to 45 win over Tennessee. First, just tell me, you know, they, you know I, starting with the last five minutes of that game, I mean, that game, you know, went on and on and on. It was the longest game, I think, maybe in Purdue football history. You did not start off as well as you have, you've, uh, and yet you end up having a terrific day. But now looking back at that, this is the fact that the – you know, Brock Thompson's first, uh, your first touchdown pass to him really got you guys going. You know, you got down early, and here's a guy that's playing injured, did an amazing job. But I, so I, I'll start with Brock and what he meant to you in, in that performance, and it will go down as one of the greats and really in Purdue history. Yeah, I mean, um, if, he, if he was healthy, that performance would have been, you know, like you said, again, one of the greats in Purdue history. And the fact that he was hobbling around, even – you know, got to the game and got there and played as a miracle. He's a tough kid, um, great leader for our team, loves football, um, cares about the details. Um, you know, it's just a, a great guy to have in the locker room. We're happy uh, we got him through the transfer portal and um, has helped our team. He had a, he really did have a great season last year. He was banged up the whole season and battled and then obviously got to showcase a lot of it in the bowl game. But um, a great kid who I love and is a, is a big leader for us. I'm gonna make a gonna make a be something that you're gonna rely on this year certainly as the, as the season rolls on. No doubt about it. Yeah, we're gonna need we're gonna need our our good players to, to play well, and he's uh, you know gonna be at the focal point. So we're we're gonna need him to play well for us to win. All right. In, in the where are they? Where were you at that moment? I know where you were. You were on the field, but you throw the ball to, to Payne Durham in the right flat. Looks like it's really going to be, you know, a big gain. I think it was for a first down, which was an important conversion. But all yeah. of a sudden, he breaks free and runs down the sideline. 
in really the craziest five minutes uh, that I've seen really in probably in college football, certainly in Purdue football history. But what, what did you see from that play uh, as he broke away? I mean, did you, I mean, you couldn't have, I don't think at least from the press box vantage points, you thought he was going down all of a sudden he takes off another 50 yards for the touchdown. What do you recall from that play? I recall taking forever. Um, you know, things happen in slow motion in, in real life and that because, you know, we make fun of pain for being slow. That that really <laughs> felt like it was slow motion. Um, but just a special play that I'll remember forever. I remember, you know, most touchdowns I don't celebrate too much, but I remember throwing my hands up after he crossed the goal line, just being in shock. Like I didn't even, I didn't know what to think. I didn't, I just couldn't, the most crazy touchdown I've ever seen and the fact that it happened at that time with all the things on the line um, was just awesome. What do you learn from this, that, you know, that game in terms of just having, I mean, you didn't have David Bell. You didn't have George Karloftis. Yes, you had Aiden O'Connell. That's important. And, and you had a lot of other guys step up. What do you take from that to, as a leader of this team looking at 2022 and say, you know, we did do it without those guys. It was next man up and that next man stepped up. I mean, is that as simple as how you can, how, what you can take from that uh, win? Yeah, I think so. You know, I think um, during the year, it's it's hard. Like, you, those guys are, are our focal point. Like you said, David and George are our best players, um, and we needed them to play well to win games, and they did a lot of time, and that's why we won a lot of games. Um, but then, you know, a lot of times it's like during the year, you, you know, and then during the offseason, you kind of try to figure it out. But that's that was kind of a unique time where it was still during the year, but we still had to figure it out. Um, so it wasn't spring ball where they got, like, these young guys that haven't played a lot or guys who haven't been – you know, the main part of the offense had to be in a short period of time, uh, step up. And I, I think it just brought a lot of confidence to our program to say, you know, we're obviously bigger than any one player individually. Um, but guys who love the game and care, um, you know, committed to um, to winning. Um, just like, and, and, you know, we're playing for guys like David and George. You know, they, they made decisions to sit out that no one was mad at them or anything, but, we, you know, they would um, love to be playing. Circumstances are different. So, um, I think it's just a combination of things that, you know, got, we just have a lot of guys who, who love the game and, and give their all. Yeah, well said. All right, give me a, a, the last thumbnail of what people to, what will folks expect on Tuesday night besides three, three bright, shiny faces and Aiden O'Connell, Payne Durham, and Brock Thompson at Bruno's. But, uh, you know, you have, you know, it's a new world now where you put it, helping put these types of events. You have Tom Schott and Bruno and Orlando White and helping, I'm sure, and others. But uh, it's a new uh, new thing on your resume to be putting these things together uh, uh, for an event like Tuesday night. Yeah, it's definitely obviously a change from what, what people could do in years prior. I think it's, like you said, um, just a, a good time to remember the bowl game, um, you know, hang out with, with some guys on the team. Um, you know, Orlando does a great job uh, with Bruno's. We, we love Bruno's. Uh, we, go, we go there every week during the season. So we, we love um, their food and we love – we just feel so supported from the people um, that love Purdue football. We look, the community supports us. You know, we've had, even since I've been here, some, some years that we're not very good and, and the stadium is still almost full. And so we, we just love to be in the community and give back because, you know, the, we, we feel the love from, you know, our fans. So um, hopefully it'll be a great night. All right. Now, one place, one time when it's definitely going to get to be full is uh, the night of September 1st. I know you have a lot of miles to travel till you get there. <laughs> But just that excitement of that first game. I mean, again, you're going to hear this from people well outside of goldenblack.com. But, uh, you know, it's as big a game. Just, I mean, it's, it is a, you know, it's not only going to be nationally televised on ESPN, but uh, it is going to be a focal point game. For a guy like you, uh, I, I'm going to, I don't want to speak for you, but I think that's just another challenge for you guys uh, to be ready and, and be on the national stage. Yeah, you want to you play the, against the best teams. And obviously everybody knows Penn State. It's an unbelievable program. It's had some um, great years of football recently. And so it's going to be a tremendous test. Um, it's going to be, you know, we don't have time, you know, have a couple games to figure it out. We got to go out there and, and play um, game one. So it'll be Thursday night, a little bit different under the lights. Um, it's going to be an awesome atmosphere um, here in West Lafayette. So it's, it's going to be a, hopefully a special night. Uh, we're, we're hoping for a big win. We will let you get back to your what, all the things that you have on your list, which is long here in the next few days. But we want to remind folks that on Tuesday night, it'll be uh, July the 19th uh, at Bruno's, uh, 6 p.m. 
not only Aiden O'Connell, but Brock Thompson and Payne Durham will be making an appearance. Uh, we encourage you to join. I will also put links and information on how you can get tickets. You can get tickets at the door, but we'll have other information on how you can contact Tom Schott and others. There's a Venmo also to order tickets as well. It will be on the site and we'll have it ready for you uh, as you uh, finish watching the set. Aiden, thanks so much for your time and uh, so much appreciated. Thanks, Alan. Appreciate you. I want to thank the Chariot Auto Group also for sponsoring Monday Night Memories. And, uh, of course, our good friends, at, uh, like, like Aiden says, you're not going to find better friends, friends of Purdue Sports than, uh, than Orlando White and the folks at Bruno's, and uh, we appreciate them well. So, again, uh, make sure you show up on uh, Tuesday night. And, uh, Aiden, uh, we'll look forward to seeing you there. Thanks, Alan. You too, man.